You're such an asshole. Hello, children. Old Cappy here. We have a question from uh, our Ashkenazi Jewish agent in the field. And I don't know where he was for a while. He comes and goes, you know. <clears throat> I'm needed in Israel. And he flies off. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ashkenazi agent writes, of course, of course, of course you're going to up. Of course you're going to do what I didn't tell you to do. Computer. Hi, Aaron. It's been a while. Enjoying your content as always. A new question for you. Please provide a quote for a video. There's a theory that minorities and immigrants are generally more compliant and more obedient than white people in the United States where the latter is much more likely to rebel and stand up for rights and liberties. Do you agree with that? If so, why do you think that's the case? Um, I could not disagree with that more. Uh, I, uh, I have never seen anything more compliant than Amer modern day American white people. You, I mean, conformity is thy name and the phrase basic bitch or just your basic, you know, oh, he's your basic bastard, I guess would be the, your, your basic uh, that is the epitome epitome of white culture today in the United States is obeying. Uh, go to college. Right, can, can I give you more of a of an example of lemmings falling horrifically bad at? Oh, y'all got to go to college. I'm not saying, and and you know what? Be an interesting thing. I would apply this to the native population, regardless of race. So if we just had immigrants versus Americans, regardless of your stripe. Uh, I would say this is this is uh, whites a little bit more, but <clears throat> generally America. Oh, they can't wait to go to college. College, 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 college. I mean, they will line up. They will line up and destroy their lives. Um, would you like another example of conformity? All right. You know who doesn't swallow the feminist clap trap? Traditional uh, uh, cultures. Again, disproportionately immigrants. Notably, uh, Islamic or Muslim uh, cultures, <clears throat> they're like, no, we're going to do this. You can have off. But man, American gals can, again, no race involved here. This is just domestic versus immigrant. Uh, man, American women cannot wait to do exactly as they're told and throw away men and throw away family and go against their biological. I mean, that you want to talk about conformity. Look at how. You got them to give up the only thing that matters in life. Love, I would say, and family. Don't listen to me. And you got them to work and to go into debt and to buy worthless shit. Conf conf want more conformity? How many uh, $1,000 pair of shoes, $10,000 handbags? What, what do you want me to? Hey, watch this movie because we told you to. About the only way I would say that uh, white Americans stand off from the rest of the Native American, not, not American Indian, Native born and raised here, <clears throat> is that they are so compliant and so obedient that they will endure training uh, that is like, oh, you're like, I have a buddy and uh, he or she, I won't mention who, uh, their uh, employer said, oh, we got racial sensitivity training or diversity training, something like that. it was optional. And in the pamphlet they handed out to people, it said only white people can be racist. Only men can be sexist. White people eat that up. They obey. They, they bow down. Like, cause they're like, I'm not real. I'm not look how good. I mean, you, <clears throat> and maybe the epitome, the epitome, like where I would give the whites, uh, white Americans, the edge on conformance and obedience and compliance uh, is the virtue signaling. Because like even, you know, uh, minority brothers, eh, predominantly men, they're kind of like, uh, what was it? Someone sent me, it was a Latino, uh, uh, Charles. Charles, I won't mention his last name, probably even though Charles is an English name, his he's Latino. And it was the the woke, wojack, soy boy. What's up, Latinx brothers and all the different Latinos from different cultures. And, and uh, like, shut the F up. Like what? The, get the f out of here. <clears throat> um, do, do you remember the meme where white girls, when they're not the center of attention for five minutes, all these girls that like did mascara of BLM and some painted her face half black and half white? Uh, no, 
No, the immigrants will at least hold on. And even though I disagree with it, I'll give you a perfect example where immigrants are not compliant. They don't learn English. Like, screw you. We're not even, we're not, we're just coming here for economic opportunity and gimme dats. That's it. Cause our country really sucks, but we're so stubborn, not compliant. We're still going to celebrate the crap hole we came from. We're not even going to learn you stupid language. And then white people are, oh, let's accommodate you. How many ways can we write the one language? Have you gone through an airport? Although I guess an airport makes sense because you got, you do have people internationally traveling. But oh man. And maybe, <clears throat> maybe it's because I've also spent the past quarter century in the most compliant, self loathing state in the country, Minnesota, specifically the Twin Cities. Right. Maybe maybe I've just seen white people that just detest themselves and just cannot wait to prove to the world how obedient and goody little. I, and maybe there's some bias in that. Maybe I'm I'm assuming people in Colorado are like Minnesota, which is certainly not the case. But you want to talk about compliant little obedient bitches. I give the white people in Minnesota compelling argument to be made not necessarily it's good old scandinavian obedience it was like okay you got me there i'm sure certainly south dakota they're not that compliant wyoming texas not that compliant so maybe maybe i'm biased in in having been in the most little bitch state that ever bitched and was state should be turned back into a territory minifuck and soda um maybe california is even worse i i don't know i i don't even bother hanging out in california <laughs> But no, uh, I would say the immigrants are less compliant, less obedient. I'm not saying less lawfully obedient. Actually, uh, the, what studies you do find is immigrants are more law-abiding. They might collect welfare and government checks more, but they, they commit less crime than the domestic population, which isn't a big hurdle. Uh, but another thing that I would maybe where you might assume immigrants are more compliant or obedient is because a lot of them are illegal and they don't want to get exported or uh, deported. I don't want the differences. Um, and maybe they just want to, you know, they just, they're thankful to be here and collect their student or student loans, their government check, same things because the student loans going to be forgiven, right? Cause strong, independent y'all intelligent, educated college students. So intelligent SMRT. So SMRT, you need everyone to bail you out of your student loans. Um, so there might be a financial incentive for them to just kind of, Hey, you know, let's, let's act like we're obedient, but no, <clears throat> I, uh, and, and in that one regard, maybe, but generally speaking, no, no, your immigrants are much more independent for God's sake. They, they, they are willing to leave their home country, which is a ballsy move. Now you could understand that if it's like Venezuela or South Africa or, uh, North Korea, they'd like no because it's oppressive. But to, let's say it's not terrible. Let's just say it's marginally oppressive. You know, like Australia, uh, that's seriously oppressive. But to leave your home country, that takes some balls. That's not compliance. That's that's um, that's more courageous behavior. That's more um, defiant behavior, and not necessarily in a bad way. There's more agency and action being taken in that. Then there is, oh, see, see, I have a flag, whatever flag to go. Oh, look how uh, pro gay pride I am. Like, okay. <laughs> Target, hello, hello, Target. Is it that just the, the company for white people who feel guilty about being white so they can virtue signal how, how woke they all is, y'all? Isn't that what Target is? It's forget the it, reasonably fairly priced uh, goods. And a place that's slightly less dumpy than Walmart. I guess there's not kids peeing in the in the aisles. That's for privileged little white women to go shopping. Oh, look, I shop at Target. See, I, I, sh I, me, 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 me. I shop at Target. Okay, I vote to enslave my husband. More of his money who's working at the Cargill. So that you know that I, me, 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 am a good white person. Mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm down with the cause, y'all. So get back to Winnetka. No. So I, 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 which is, it, let me, <clears throat> Arcady, you ain't exactly 
a little waspy territory there now are you but have you noticed how at least men the there's a fair amount of immigrants the first generation americans that hang out in these parts here in this on this youtube's and channel why uh in part because okay they're immigrants new we, we're the only ones dealing straight dope right here but we're, they're also probably pretty independent minded and they're sticking to at least their principled ethical cultural guns I mean, it, and one could argue, well, that's because they're men. And they're like, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's immigrant for men that tend to like, yeah, no, why why would I give up whatever baklava? Although no one should give up baklava because it is an amazing dessert. So there's just some cinnamon ice cream. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, I, I would I could not disagree more. I could not disagree more. Um, a, a part of Operation Evil is is relying upon disproportionately white people. Uh, it's not the target, specifically the target demographic, but that would be a, a majority pluralistic percentage of, of the target group for Operation Evil. Um, certainly minorities, too. <laughs> you got money? Hey, Operation Evil has a lie for you. Oh, boy, does it have a lie for you. Just give us the money. I want me my Oprah bucks. I want, there's another example. Who watched Oprah? Desperate 80s housewife women. Whites predominantly. Suburbanites. No. Uh, no. You, you, there's no more. I bet you if we went back to the genetic code, you see lemming uh, uh, DNA somewhere in, in, the, in the genetic code there. <laughs> All right. Oh, geez. Why are there super chats now all of a sudden? Uh, Eric Hobbs, five bucks. I'm sure you saw all the conformists at the Car Carlson School of Economics. Uh, well, there's not, I didn't go to the Carson School of Economics, uh, it was the Carlson's, the Carlson School of Management. Um, they were conformists, but I didn't see it at the time. I didn't, I was, I mean, I was a teenager, a young 20 something, I didn't recognize the conformity that I saw it. I was still under the guys like, well, college, these professors must know some, there must be, no, no, it was just do bro. I don't want to do calculus, bro. I'm going to make my money, bro. And I don't know anyone who's look, looked at, uh, famous graduates at the Carlson school of management. Look at the, the Wikipedia entry. <laughs> Uh, the competent man, two bucks gas stations, UK running short on gas today. Oh, you see that, uh, a bunch of state troopers in Massachusetts quit over the, over the root beer float. No, we didn't create enough engineers, but by God, we got enough social justice masters candidates, right? We got enough liberal arts and sociology. Maybe they're going to, they're going to refine that gas. Don't worry. Where's all the food? Don't don't worry, everybody. Don't worry, everybody. Karen, with her master's degree in social work, will make sure that the food arrives. Okay? Don't worry. A liberal arts graduate is going to solve all the problems. Comedy man, five bucks. Harvard switching to online only classes for MBA students, even though ninety five percent have root beer float because of an outbreak. Floats work real. I why are, it it doesn't. I will never hire anyone from the Ivy League. Never. I won't conduct business. I would not. And you'd be smart to do the same. There is no reason. Like if you're an old timer, like if you graduate in the 80s or the 90s, okay, all right, fine. But and, and I'm I'm very uh loth to do work with any college graduate, period, unless you're in STEM. Uh and all Harvard has to offer is their networking. So if you can't do it, you got to do it online. No. Fred Free would sell two bucks. My college girlfriend, Southeast Asia, sexy, but U.S. heavier. God damn it, Fred. Will you drop $3 so you could spell out what you want to say? The tornado chasing kid. Chris is black. Two bucks. 22, 2022, the year of Aaron's great tornado chase. Yes, maybe. Maybe want to get to it. Right now, it's, it's the year of... Um, burning weeds that's what the uh <clears throat> which i have to wait for because it's uh there's a drought out here fred freeman solid two bucks single mom's flake less than Winnetka and wyzetta gals in my experience uh yes um as harsh as we are in single moms here i will admit that in a um uh, what's the word i'm looking for not quandary a tragedy an irony tragic irony um when a woman has a child that child 
snaps that woman out of the idea that she's the center of the universe. And generally speaking, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with it, but she's a single mom. Yes, that irresponsible act ends up making them more responsible than what they once were. I'm not saying it makes about totally 100% reliable, responsible person, but single moms tend to show up more on time, work more, be more serious, have better scheduling, <clears throat> and uh, they, they dick around a little bit less, a little bit less. Uh, but yes, you're, you're a single mom is going to be more responsible, marginally so, than Bipsy, the sorority girl, teeny bopper, party girl. Uh, but we're not talking you know, light years ahead necessarily in terms of responsibility. <clears throat> uh, Cheetos Dust Crusader. <laughs> 10 Brazilian reals went to New York uh, some years ago. So people got mad because I was too white to be a Brazilian. <laughs> well, wait, now see, that shows ignorance on the U.S. part here. Uh, if you didn't know, Brazil is not just like everyone came and screwed and out came some nice mocha looking people. Uh, there are different ethnicity groups. There's uh, native Indians to Brazil. Um, there are Europeans that uh, exported from Europe uh, and largely still predominantly white, I presume. There are Latinos. There are, well, Portuguese, technically, I, I guess. Um, a plenty of mixed race as well, obviously. <laughs> you too. Well, people got mad at you because how you were born. <laughs> but tell you, I'm gonna tell all the immigrants your real friends are not your leftists here in the United States. Just ask all the immigrants who had their buildings burnt down in Minneapolis. That was predominantly an immigrant neighborhood. They had all their businesses and buildings burnt down. Welcome to America. Fred Freeman style, five bucks. Would suburb gals be easier to date since they bought less into sex and city life? <clears throat> Those were the ones who purposely bought into the sex in the city life. And I don't know even that that show hasn't been on for what, 30 years, 25 years at least. So the, uh, I don't think young ladies today are watching that show. They're, they're buying, I don't know what they watch. They're buying into something else. I don't know what they're watching. Um, not saying perfect, but seems to show up to dates down to earth. No, that 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 self would so be. I don't know, Fred. You're the one who lives in the suburbs and are dating girls. I don't know. I haven't gone out on dates in in eons. Uh, <clears throat> you would. Would they be easier to date as compared to what rural girls who are all fat and single moms, or city girls who are all? I don't know. I would presume the suburb girls go to the city. City girls are just suburb girls who have a job now and want to live downtown where all the action is. I presume they're the same. Seem to show up on dates down there. I, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll have to go. And and going with Chad, uh, Vlad Elkham's experience? No, girls flake and they give you old pictures or Photoshop pictures. So I don't think, I don't think it is an improvement. Ross Perot. Uh, five bucks. Should I sell my house for 150 profit, buy land, and throw a cheap trailer on the lot, live rent free? Worried about jobless risk moving forward. That's not uh, you, Ross. That's five dollars. Okay, I'll give you a five dollar answer. I guess maybe depends on your situation. Can you work remotely? Do you have a place you want to move? I mean, where are you living now? If you're living in a nice place in Montana, no, I don't see a reason to move. But if you're living in North Minneapolis, yeah, get the fuck out. I need to know about your individuals. That's why you hire me at assholeconsulting.com and you pay, in that case, around 40, 45 bucks for me to prevent you from making a 70, 75, $100,000 potential mistake. Amtax won gaming and crypto. My, my good, new guy here, five British pounds. Yeah, the majority of the UK is short of gas, petrol. They're getting people in from Poland, apparently. Our government is terrible. They're getting people in, what, petroleum engineers from Poland? Who are they getting people in from Poland? What do, you, what do you mean? Is that good? Is it bad? What are they doing? Because all the United Kingdom people don't know how to major in petroleum engineering. Or was was gas bad? Oh, polluting the environment. Where's the food? Fred, again, two bucks. My girlfriend and I broke up because I wouldn't go to with her to Beale. <laughs> what were you? Why did she even attain girlfriend status, Fred? If she's going to go to uh, Black Lives Matter, why did you even like? There must have been the tell that she was a Marxist communist 
psychopath. When when were you going to get around? <clears throat> uh, Fred, two bucks. No, I live in the city. Last girlfriend lived in the suburbs. Eh. I I would not distinguish between city and suburb girls. Um, I I really wouldn't. The competent man, five bucks. Vention McTall passed away. Oh, yeah, he did a day or two ago. Retired at 54, got cancer at 56, dead at 57, only found out by accident. Turd Flinging Monkey mentioned it. Yep. Shocked at did not make it long. Yeah, man. Sometimes people die. That's why, I mean, this is why I emphasize go out and live, go hike, go ride your motorcycles, stop. <clears throat> Stop putting women at the center of your life and make it count. You don't know if you're going to die at 57. You know, fall in love if you can. I hope, I mean, that's that, that would be ideal. You find the love of your life. Yeah, makes life worth living. Absolutely. Go have kids if you want to. Yes, but in the meantime, read the data. The Book of Numbers, available paperback, Kindle, and audiobook. Go live your life because that, ironically, is how you get the girl, sir. <clears throat> the millions of people who are wasting their time getting MBAs and wasting on a career is just so sad and tragic, but they're the ones that deserve it. <clears throat> they're the ones that deserve it. I went for a hike this morning. It was wonderful. Lots of streams, saw a lot of trout. Very nice. Oh, yeah, Black, yeah, you're over there in the UK, gas shortage. Well, you guys don't need gas, right? <laughs> the irony, gas shortage and no one's at war. <laughs> Only you guys are fighting the Germans this time around. Ambitax, one in ga uh, gaming and crypto mining, two British pounds. We're short of drivers. It's happened before. Oh, lorry drivers. Uh, truck drivers, you mean. Truck driver. Lorries. They call them lorries. <clears throat> it's happened before. Yeah, I remember you, France, the, their lorry drivers would always go on strike. Uh, you're short of drivers. All right. Man, you know, Poon doesn't even have to turn off the tap, does he? He just has to let you guys, let Western society just screw itself over with free crap. Competent man, two bucks. UK needs 100,000 truck drivers to deliver gas. But they, ha they have liberal arts majors. Don't, they, they will solve all problems. Are there even 100,000 truck drivers in Poland to go around? Fred Fruit and Salt, two bucks. She got girlfriend says because redhead with big boobs. Ah, the truth comes out, Fred. The truth comes out. Okay. All right. You're honest. I too made stupid decisions when I was young. Uh, Ryan Silva, five bucks. Poles are like Europe's Mexican migrants. Nice people, but they were replacements for an earlier of an earlier vintage. Well, aren't they like reasonably educated and Western civilization? They're more Western civilization than the rest of Europe, right? Is that like the last white country that doesn't hate itself? Is that is that where, you know? <clears throat> John Steele, who we don't like each other. They were immigrant uh, interviewing a guy called Amos, and Amos had an interesting background. He was half Asian and half Polish, and John says, like, what, you're really good at math, but you can't spell your name? <laughs> Everyone fell over dying laughing. <laughs> oh. But I always thought, well, aren't the you know, engineers, former Soviet bloc, just standard European, you know, STEM, really based? Uh, why are they being shipped off? Like, doesn't doesn't Poland have its own domestic economy? It's like, no, we, we need our truck drivers here. Thank you very much. We do not have a surplus of labor. Cabragoon Cabulous, two bucks. I thought London was fueled by crumpets and tea. No, <clears throat> yes, yes. And diversity. See, I don't know how the world grew to what it was without diversity and socialism and touchy feelies. All right. And yes, they do have crumpets and tea, but then they also have, uh, what else? They got? And, they got, and rain, I guess. That, that's what they got going on in, in, the, in London. Crumpets and tea and rain. Uh, Black Kojak, five British pounds, laughing out loud. Always stay stay topped up on petrol. Electric car drivers are laughing right now. Yeah, thoughts on electric car? I'm for them. If, if you can make them <clears throat> without government subsidies and people want to go do it. 
And I'm not, I'm, I'm even compelled or agree with a, a particular environmental argument. Like if you've ever been to Vegas or LA, I don't know what the equivalent would be in, in Europe, but there has to be countries where it's in a basin and without wind, it, the smog and the, um, the exhaust uh, is not good for you. So I'm all for getting rid. Well, wait, okay. <clears throat> Black Kojak, go back. I think it was the 1950s. Um, whether if this was before London switched to gas and they all had wood, wood or coal burning and the environment was correct where there was no wind and just this tight, literally a toxic haze came over London. I want to see it was 1954 and people were getting sick and it was horrible. Look this up. And that's why everyone switched to gas because of all the pollution with the coal burning. Um, hang on. Let me. I probably know your history better than you. Uh, London gas coal, 1950s. <clears throat> Great smog of London. Yeah, here it is. 1952 severe air pollution that affected London, England. Unusually cold weather combined with anti-cyclone and windless conditions collected airborne pollutants, mostly arising from the use of coal. Thick layer of smog over the city. It lasted from Friday, December the 5th to Tuesday. The 9th, 1952. Um, what was it? The uh, 4,000 people died as a direct result of the thought of the smog. 100,000 more made ill by the effect. Greater estimates of 10 to 12,000 deaths. Yeah, yeah, see? Well, who paid attention to? <laughs> I didn't get that in history class. That would have been cool. The great smog that killed people in the United Kingdom. Tell us more, teach. No, we have. Let's go over the Civil War again. Hey, did you know it was about slavery in the Appomattox Courthouse and General Grant? Yes. And the Battle of Antietam is that like Vietnam? No. Yeah, but if you taught that, that's really cool. I would have remembered that. No, I had to go where? A podcast on the internet to get it because teachers suck. A lot of cool history out there, but we don't teach it. Fred Freeman sold two bucks. Garage logic. It seems women don't want men anymore. What? Did Joe Souchere actually make a bold statement or observation? Did he voice a, a somewhat... Not so milky toke observate. Did he put a little bit of whiskey in his coffee? And he drink coffee, probably drinks tea. I am shocked. Blue Orion, five bucks. Pulls that go to United Kingdom, more blue collar workers. Engineers are staying, making money in Poland. Okay, cool. All right, now we kind of know. Hey, Black Koja, I don't know what you do, but could you just sign up for driving? I mean, if there's that labor shortage, could you go make some good coin? Uh, Ambi attacks, uh, one gaming and crypto mining, work with polls. V better than us natives. V better than us? They be better than us? Well, I wouldn't doubt it. You know who the best contractors are? Not by a lot, but by a margin, just a little bit. Mexicans, you know why? They show up on time and they're sober. <clears throat> and usually the prices are better. Now, maybe the craftsmanship is not the best, but right now they're beating the natives. <laughs> non-stop trade two bucks what's the bid now for your carl it's still at 450 i gotta get on that i'm sorry we'll we'll do a i'll uh i'll do the announcement and i'll put it up for bid someone said it's e i should just put it on ebay i should just bid it out put the link here closes at this time then it's done and i probably do that because i just don't have time uh fred freeman saw five bucks my mom wants to start bringing binging on my parents war chest but my dad wants to be a wealthy minimalist in, and leave my brother and me a large inheritance. Cappy opine. Well, you're they're both right to do with, with binging on your on their war chest. Well, they got to figure that out themselves. And I think if one wants to spend it and one wants to keep it, well, then it'll be right down the middle. And both your parents worked. Your mom was what really wasn't. I don't want to mention what she did, but she was a legit professional, right? She contributed to that money, so. <clears throat> um, your dad obviously loves you guys more than your mom. Uh, and your mom is, you know, I'm not saying your mom shouldn't live life, but you know, that's a very boomer thing to do. 
you're okay if we don't leave you an inheritance. Wasn't planning on it. Yeah, because I saw the estate. Yeah, this this massive estate I was about to inherit. Yes. Uh, Cabergoon Cabulous, two bucks. Travel like Mary Poppins. Oh, wait. <laughs> Be one big umbrella, right? <laughs> what if they remake one? Dick Van Dyke wouldn't fit down the chimney. He'd be too fat and too Mary Poppins. He'd have a much bigger umbrella. Way bigger umbrella. <laughs> uh, Cheetos Duster Crusader, five Brazilian real. Good countries to live in South America, Chile and Uruguay, and some parts of Colombia, Paraguay as is in some parts of Colombia. Paraguay is a no-go tier. Oh. I have to look up the history of Paraguay. Interesting history, Paraguay. You want to see some crazy ballsy dictators? Watch the read the history of Paraguay. At one time, I could be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong here, Cheetos. Didn't they declare war? Yeah, Paraguay is that big. They declared war. I think it was on Argentina, and then when Brazil wouldn't come help them, they also declared war on Brazil. It it's a it's like that. It's not just the little yapper dog. It's the yapper dog that would bite. I mean, it, it would go to the mat. Wasn't going to win, but it was going to go to the mat. It's a very interesting history. Uh, Fred, <clears throat> two bucks, slender liberal, a heavy. No, no, slender liberal. No, it, it, look, you're not going to marry. You're not going to marry. There's why are you even asking fat? Are you attracted to fat girls? Good. Then, then there's if you're not physically attracted to them, then. The number one thing is physical attraction. It's not the only thing, but it's the number one thing. Because if you don't have it, then you're friends. Nothing wrong with friends. It's just don't even bother. Because the most minimal romantic dating uh, stage is sexual. I guess holding hands in middle school or whatever. But if, but you could not fall in love. I mean, you could actually kind of hate the person. You still need to go from he friends to the very barely little next step is you need physical attraction. If you don't have that, forget it. nothing. Else, it's, no, you're just friends. All right, here we go. Questions, answers. Asshole, oh, here's Fred again. All right, uh, two women like food more than us, it seems, as you said. Yes, I said that two, three years ago. Women love food more than men. And then when I made that, I think I did a video or something on it. The girl's like, of course we do. Why would we like, we I dang it. I can't, yeah, you're verifying my point. We got it. We got it. <clears throat> I was, uh, I was more pointing out women like an excess amount of food beyond men, because obviously you need food to survive. You should like food before men, because if you don't eat, you ain't gonna even have the option for men. So it's kind. Of, I'm saying uh, eating in excess of what you need. They love that more than than men. Competent man, five bucks. The dude bros are piling into shale oil again. Oils are on seventy dollar, and firms keep putting out statements. Oil going to ninety. Chapter eleven coming. Um. Well, who's going to fire for chapter 11? Like if the price of oil goes up, won't those oil firms make money? And if I recall correctly, they just capped off all the oil wells. All they got to do is send out the machinery again, put the thing in the in the well, turn it on and off to the race as they go. Am I wrong about that? Vlad Elkums for two bucks. It is fat Democrat boomer running track night. No, <laughs> Chad went to a, a, a running track in Chicago because uh, he uh, he wanted to go for a run and uh, they show up and the Democrat Party local chapter whatever of communist fuckwits uh, they're like having a fit exercise thing and then Chad's like they're all fat they're all fat blocks they can barely run uh, competent man shell oil never makes money I don't know I'm not a petroleum engineer why was there all that investment in, in North Dakota I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm, look, I'm just a podcaster. I don't know anything. I have no tangible skills whatsoever in a post apocalyptic world. None. All right. That's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. I'll see you guys later. Tools.